Let's install and configure Data Store in your ArcGIS Enterprise deployment. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for another tutorial. Before you continue to watch, please take a moment to hit subscribe below if you haven't already. So today we will continue with our ArcGIS Enterprise based deployment. We will install and configure ArcGIS Data Store, add it as a hosting server in your portal, and register an enterprise geodatabase. In the last two tutorials, we installed and completely configured our portal and ArcGIS server, so you can check those out. I would have also mentioned that I previously had recorded footage of my own setup over the course of a year, but lost those after my hard drive crash. So I'll show demonstrations where I can and show screenshots for everything else. Let's get started. With ArcGIS Data Store, Three types of data stores can be configured. Relational, tile cache, and spatiotemporal data store. The relational and tile cache are required for an ArcGIS enterprise-based deployment. When you configure ArcGIS data store with a federated ArcGIS server site, ArcGIS server can then be assigned as your portal's hosting server. We covered federation in the last tutorial, so make sure to check that out. Data store is that key component that allows users to create hosted layers in your portal, along with other functionalities. It really functions as a managed repository for your data. When data is published, it is copied to that data store. In regards to your firewall setup, this uses port 2443, so make sure communication is optimal. Other installation parameters are covered during the installation. We'll start with unpacking your installation package. You can download this from myesri.com. You should be issued with a user account that will allow Esri access. From there, you will proceed to your organization tab and to downloads and select the necessary files to download. After downloading the files, you will double click to extract and run the wizard. If for any reason the installed file won't begin to set up after it's finished unpacking, you can go to the location where it unpacked and run it from there. Proceed through the setup wizard if necessary, change default locations or output. Otherwise, you can accept the defaults where possible. You must specify your data store user account. The same user account can be used for each setup in your enterprise, or you can create a new one here. After installation is complete, you will be redirected to the configuration site where you will proceed to configure your relational data store, tile cache, and spatiotemporal by providing your ArcGIS server site and credentials. There you will click next. I previously had a registered relational data store, hence the reason it will not show here. Select Finish to register your data store with your ArcGIS server site. Once completed, allow for a few minutes while your server restarts. You may then proceed to your portal site Go to Edit Settings, select Server, click Hosting Server, and you should find your server here. 
you may select it. If for some reason you haven't seen it here, you may then need to recheck your communication between data store and server and repair the installation. You can also check with your own IT department as well as with Esri support. Now that you have your hosted server, we can now register folders and an enterprise geodatabase as a managed database in your server manager site. Before doing so, we must make sure that the server and portal domain user has access to any folder or database you want to register, whether through your Windows connection or in the database manager, as is the case with an enterprise geodatabase. We discussed adding a portal domain user in the first enterprise tutorial, so please do check that out. In my case, I want to register a database and I used SQL Server to manage my GIS database. So I will proceed to SQL Server Management Studio and log in to my server instance using my operating system username. If you're unsure about your database instance, your database administrator can assist you with this. Now I'm logged in and I know which database is the GIS database. So I'll check the permissions on this to make sure the server account and portal users are added. If not, then you will need to get your database administrator to add these users for you Otherwise, you can also do this through ArcGIS Pro, provided you have the privilege to make these changes within the database. So I've confirmed that the required users are added to the database, and I want to create a new database connection, which will generate a .sde file. This we will need to register with our database in the ArcGIS Server Manager. I proceed to launch ArcGIS Pro and open an existing project. I go to my catalog window and I expand database connection to check if my database is there. It's not. So I'll create a new database connection and enter my server instance name, as well as the GIS database I want to connect to. This action creates a SDE file, which is your enterprise geodatabase file. There are other ways to do this, but this way is pretty simple and it's straightforward. Now, my SDE file is saved in my ArcGIS Pro projects. I will now proceed to ArcGIS Server Manager and go to Site, Data Store, and select the option to register a managed database. I browse from my SDE file in ArcGIS Pro Projects to create my connection. I believe that in the latest release of ArcGIS Enterprise, you no longer need a managed database, but rather a regular database. At least that's what I've been told. So now you are set and ready to publish data to your portal. In a later tutorial, we will learn about creating a collaboration between portal and ArcGIS Online, as well as enterprise sites. As usual, thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this tutorial with a friend or colleague who you believe would benefit from this information. Also leave a comment down below to let me know how you like the tutorials or if you have other tutorials that you would like to see. Thanks again and see you next time.